really good. Nice. Okay. You just place the hands just at the bottom part of the ribs and then just slowly take it around. That's it. And then she'll go on the other side and try and keep your shoulders down, away from the ears and relax. From there, just taking your hands up into a prayer position and press into the, the palm of your right hand and then into your left. Now last week, ladies, on the 12th of October, it was National, sorry, World Arthritis Day. But I did some hand mobility in my face-to-face -face classes. I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to do a little bit of mobility with you. So if you do, quite common, that you know, very various forms of arthritis, and then from here, just push your fingers away and lift up and lower and down. Various forms of arthritis. And if, you, if you're unlucky enough to have it in your hands and your wrists, then they can become swollen and sore. So it's just keeping everything nice and supple. And lower. Ladies, chin to chest and lower it down. And just a little half roll down. And then inhale, exhale, let's roll it back. And, down. and wrist and hand health are important as well. Especially if we're going to be picking up some weights today. So our hands are nice and warm. Give your shoulders back and down. Stretch the fingers out. Yeah, so stretch the fingers and turn the right arm for four. around the other side. And two, three, four. Lovely. From there, just open out your arms, just bring them forward, so close the pelvis and then open the chest. And then again, close. And again, close down. And open. One more time. Down and open. Now place your hands to the side of you and we're going to go into a little side bend. Two more. One and two. And then you're going to open. You're going to do two little scoops. One and two. And then hands at the side of you and then you're going to do a side bend. Bring your hands back to prayer position and then push the fingers away. Lift up. Open and down. And again, so one, push two, up, open and down. Two more. One, push away, lift, open and lower. Open your arms and float forward. And forward. Okay. Taking your hand down at the side of you. And one more time. Okay. All right. Ladies, take the right leg behind the left, take the right arm and press it over. So you're going to get a stretch here, just in the hip. Okay. Change, other side, and over. Right, over there. All right, and then step that back in. So chin to chest, I'm going to roll all the way down. When you roll down, you want to just sort of take a little pause at the bottom and then roll it back up. And I want you to do that just uh, a couple of times because my music seems to have gone off again. All right, so here we go. Mm. Sorry about that, ladies. My music, wrong. My music is. Uh, okay, one more time. So we're going to come down, roll it down, and then inhale, and exhale, and roll it back. Okay. Shoulders back and down. Circle around on the right, and then circle around on the left. And again, round we go. Through. Okay, ladies, just take your legs up nice and wide. Right, so nice wide. You're going to come over to your right side. You're going to lift up to the center and then over to your left side. Again, so lift, 
So now we're moving into some deeper hip health. Over we go. And lift. And again, so notice as I come up, I'm standing up tall and then I lunge down. So opening out through the inner thigh and lift. Last time. Down we go. And lift. All right. Ladies, bring the feet in together. Place yourself just to the side of a wall or a door and I want you to just lift and lower. Yeah. So to lift and lower the knee. So as I'm lifting and lowering, I'm just bringing it in front of my body. Yeah. Lift and lower. And I'm, the reason I'm asking you just to hold on to something because in a moment, I'm going to move the leg in a circular motion and you may find that quite distracting as far as your balance goes. All right, so I'm going to lift. Now notice now I'm going to go into the corner with my knee. So I'm going to come out to the side, yeah? Out to the side. And again, lift. So it's kind of in a diagonal. So think of it like a bit of a 10 o'clock to two o'clock. So opening out that hip. And then with your leg that's closest to your screen, tap and push back. Tap and push back. So it's rotation of the hip, yeah? Tap and push back. Now make the rotation bigger and circle it around. Circle around. So three and four. Lovely. Place that left foot down, place your hands in the lower part of your back and stretch open. Alright, and then relax. Coming around the other side and you're just going to take the, uh, the leg that's closest to the screen, you're going to lift it and lower it first. Okay, just it's right to left or left to right, but just keep it individual knee lifts nice and strong and as you're lifting the knee you're not crunching yeah now then the knee comes out to the corner yeah two o'clock ten o'clock yeah so just opening out think opening the hip that's it then the other side then i'm going to tap and circle tap and circle back tap circle back tap we've got one more and we're going to take it into a bigger rotation so just building this up and then you're going to rotate round that's it two three and four okay place in the hands at the lower part of your back push through and do a little baby back bend as you lift the chest up to the ceiling. And then standing up to the top. Take your right arm forward and your left arm under and just circle the wrist. So going back to wrist and health mobility for those of you that suffer with arthritis. Okay? Then, and if this hurts your shoulder in any way, take your hand down. All right, and then the other way. Side, so I should say. Three, two, one. Interlace your fingers and then just roll it. So roll it back and forth. And it's not just warming up hands and wrists, it's shoulders as well. Three, two, one. Love it. Hands into prayer. Push, lift, and lower, and hands down to the thighs. Yeah, so it's up. Push away, lift and lower, hands down to the thighs. Open up through your arms and float forward. Okay, lovely. Take your hands down and give me a side bend, right to left. Bring your arms up again and float it forward. So we come one, open, and two. Hands down to the side of you and then into a side bend. Take your legs up nice and wide, lunge into your right, and then into centre. And again, lunge over and centre. And again, here we go. Over and lift. Over and lift. Two more. One. That's it, one more time. And two. Now bring your
your feet in together, roll it down, chin to chest, roll down, rolling all the way down, all the way down, there we go. Pause for a second or two, and then inhale, exhale, and roll that back up. Three, two, one. Go to your door, and then begin to lift and lower. All right, lift and lower. You don't need a door, just a wall. It's just sometimes when we're pushing ourselves off balance and we're rotating, we don't want to do. So the last thing I want to do is fall over or feel unsteady and then take the leg out to a two o'clock to ten o'clock, yeah? So making sure you just give yourself a little bit of space there. Okay, tap and circle. So we're going to channel one side. We're going to do it for four. Tap, circle back. Point the toe, circle back. One more time. Tap and circle. Now, bring it in and around. Yeah? So it's a much bigger movement. Two, three, and four. Beautiful. Hands behind and open through the chest. So a new baby back bend. So you're pushing yourself open in the chest. Coming around to the other side, we're going to lift up and lower. That's it. So you're staying in sagittal plane to begin with, and then you're going to turn it where you're going to move the leg away, move it out. Yeah. Out we go. And out. Then we're going to tap and circle inside leg. So tap and circle. So we keep it at the lower level to begin with. Yeah. Tap and circle. So we're now bringing a lot of mobility into the hip and the pelvic floor muscles. Then in a moment we're going to work through upper body and then we're going to go down on the floor and go back to hip health. All right, one more time. All right. Hands at the lower part of the back. Squeeze open through the chest. And relax down. Spread the fingers, turn around for four. One, two, three, get ready for the other side. Spread those fingers, stretch those fingers. Round one, two, that's it. Three, last one, and four. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears and close them off. And again, breathe in. Pushing yourself into optimum posture. Bracing the abdominals, squeezing the glutes. Okay, ladies, I want you to take one weight to begin with. All right, so one weight. All right, so you're going to bring your left leg forward and you're going to lean into it. I'm going to show you from the side. So I've got my left leg forward, and my right leg back, and I'm placing my hand onto the thigh and I'm leaning in, okay? So back is flat, so you're not being crunched here into this position, okay? Right, from there, your arm is in a pendulum. You're gonna bring it up into your back pocket, all right? So think about working through the back into the posterior deltoid. And again, one, last time. Now you're going to bring that weight down, you're going to step in, and then you're going to step out to the right side and squat, and then back. Do that again on this side. Down, back, down. There's a half a suitcase squat. Down, and back. Take that weight into the other hand, take it back, lower it down, and then Come into your back pocket. There we go. Two. And three. And even if you haven't got a weight, you still pull back on this shoulder. You're still working by bringing the arm back, working through that posterior deltoid. Two. Three. And four. Okay. From there, take your other weight. Alright, take your other weight. 
Right, so from there, we're going to lift up to a front raise on the right side, and then you're going to front raise on the left side. Okay. Now notice this is I'm front raising, just coming up to shoulder height. Just your shoulder. And squeezing the glutes as they support you. Okay, I'm going to do a single, single, double. So I'm going to do a single, a single, I'm going to do two doubles. So take both arms up. One, and two, and do that again. So we're going to a single, again, the pelvic girdle, the spine, everything is to stay nice and still. Yeah? Try not to come up. So you're not coming up here. Some of you are doing this, right? Look at where I'm stopping. Stop and lower. Stop and lower. Then together, squeeze up and back. One more time. From here, I want you just to come into a suitcase squat with both weights. And again. Now we go. We do that for two more. One. And last one. And two. Lovely. Then from here, you're going to do a bicep curl. So I'm going to come in, placing the weights on top of my shoulders, towards my shoulders, and then lower down. So I'm not moving my elbows. Yeah? They have a little bit of movement. I'm not here. This is what I'm trying to show you. They're not this. Yeah, elbows are in nice and tight, lock them in, glue them in, and then take it up and then lower. Just all I'm doing is with that wrist health, turn in the wrist slightly as I come to the top into that rotation. Okay, lovely. Single, 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 to the other side, single, and then two doubles. So that's a one and and two, lovely. Let's do it one more time. Then we can just put all of this together then. There's a single, and down, and then a single, and then two doubles. One, and then two. Okay. Then you're gonna take a step back a little bit. Then you're gonna take the arms up into the square position. You're gonna come up to the top in a shoulder press. Yeah, up we go. So I'm going to do it slow, single, single, and a double. So I'm going to do single, I'm going to take in both arms, single, and a double is one and two. Yeah, single, single, double. Single, single, double, one and two. And again, single, single and then a double here we go slow one and two okay taking the arms down all right so let's put that together or we'll continue in our single single double so we're going to come up into a front raise single and then the other side single and then two doubles one and two we'll do that we're going to do every one of them twice through a single and then single, that's it. And then two doubles, one and two. Okay, squat, single, single, single again. Then double, slow, slow. And up. One more time, single. Do the single again. Just playing around with the tempo and then double. Double. And up. One more time, slow. One more time. And you go. And you go. Lovely. Take your arms up and then we're going to go into a shoulder. So it's a single and again, single and then a double. Up. Again, slow and lower. Okay, one more time. Single, 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 double, slow, slow. Okay, 
slow up, slow down, stay here. So your left arm is going to stay still and your right arm is going to move up. Now the hard bit is we're going to hold that there and do eight on the other side. Two, three, four, five, here we go, six, seven, eight. Down on the shoulders and then lower down. Lovely. Take your legs up nice and wide. Taking the weights into the centre. Coming over to your right side and lift up. Over to your left side and lift. Yeah. Down to your right and lift. So you're loading the weight down into each side of the lunge. Now we did this earlier to do with hip health. Down and up. Yeah. This is the hard bit. When you come down and then you lift up to the centre. Two more. One. The lift, the hard part. Inhale, push up, exhale. Lovely. Ladies, bring your feet together. Place your weights down at the side of you. Take the right arm across the body and just stretch. So just wanted to put a little bit of upper body in, a little bit of lower body as well. And then we're going to go down onto the mat and then round to the other side. There we go. All right, and then lift up the right arm, drop down, take it through and just stretch through onto the back, into the tricep, back of the arm there, and then over to the other side. Okay. Okay. Right, ladies, we're going to roll it down and we're going to do some um, hip health. So come back to the side of your mat. Okay. Hold it there a second. Just I want you to roll it down in your own time, and then just come into a seated position. All right, into a lovely seated position there. All right. All right. All right. All right. So and then just take your legs apart so they're nice and wide. All right. So down on the floor and your legs are nice and wide okay nice and wide and then from here you're going to bring the right leg down and then lift up and then the other side over and lift now again this is a mental assessment can you get your knee down onto the floor yeah. and again nice and wide over and up the other side over so just a little pause down and then lift up okay so i'm going to bring around my legs down so i'm going to come around so i'm going to bring my left leg in and my right leg back so i'm in a 90 90 position okay so 90 90 position so we've gone from windscreen wipers and now we're going to stretch right the way through the outer part of the hip and into the so sit up, stand, uh, sit up nice and tall. Take your hands in front of you and then elongate the spine and push down towards your inner thigh. So what you're not doing is this. Okay, you're not doing this position. It's up, it's a lean into it. My spine is long. Stay here. And then inhale, exhale and then just bring it back up and you're seated. Now the next one we come down, you can see we come down a little bit lower. So you bring your hands forward and then you reach down. Remember, think about spine long rather than closed. To windscreen wiper, so come in over, through, that's it, over, and through. So 
give your hands down to support you and bringing it through so try and not do a whole body twist yeah try and keep the hips down and then bring it over yeah rather than a full twist okay then bring around that leg and the other one behind you you don't need the other way around that way <laughs> i knew it was the wrong way around so you're in a 1990 position bring your hands forward and then elongate to get into the spine and push down. Walk your hands back in and sit up lovely and tall. One more time. So walk the hands away, lean into it, lean down into that thigh. in slightly so you're going to lift up on one leg and tap down and then lift and lower that's it so knee health lift the leg and lower and then lift and lower i'm going to take it up a level so you can stay on yeah we're going to come away and through and stay on single legs. I'm just pushing back a little bit to give myself more space as I extend the legs. Okay, and again, so back into those hands. Try not to place all your weight into your hands, ladies. Let your core do the work. Okay, bring yourself to seated, up, through, arms forward, elongate the spine okay so again it's not the closed situation it's up here and elongate the spine okay and then i want you to turn over onto your side in a 90 degree your legs are in a 90 degree position okay so you can place your head on your hand head into your hand or or you can lie down or you can get a cushion from where you're setting and all i want you to do is open and close the hip yeah so just open and close now notice i'm keeping my feet on the floor in this side clam position so opening and closing and that's it open and close and again squeeze open and close down all right and again so open and through two more so how far can you open without feeling any rotation here right so they stay on top of one another open and close okay now lift the leg away and feather it around to making some circles all right so little circles that's it round from that hip round we go round so staying in so that other leg in 90 degree and round so feathering it around feather that knee all the way around okay one more time back and round okay 
then from there you're going to do a donkey kick so I'm going to push back now I'm going to push back so the um, flat of my foot is going towards the door but what I'm not doing is this yeah not this I'm going to push back without arching my back okay so pushing back without arching so it's about just get to that position so you're stretching out that hip flexor and in yeah so it's not an arch of the back it's a tiny movement I don't know how big it looks from there but it's a little donkey kick back so you're stretching the front of the hip yeah and again two more one and one more time and two okay ladies roll it over onto your back right roll it over onto your back and I want you to place your one foot over over the opposite knee all right so it doesn't matter which leg because we'll change in a moment and I just want you to roll over keeping the tiptoe down on the floor and then roll over to your side where your knee is taking you into that arrow all right and then you're going to come up and over and you're going to come over to the other side again now keeping this knee open rather than closed right so an open knee okay and then up to the top then we're going to change sides right and then you're going to come over over we go there we go just breathe into the stretch allow your body to relax into this stretch lovely up and over tiptoe down and then across and notice that this leg here is open all right so open up open and flow all right come into the center bring your knees into the chest and then just circle around your knees there we go three and four Take your hands just on your hamstrings, bring your head, neck and shoulders away and then lift up. Bring yourself around and then you're going to come down onto your other side. All right, so down. So placing yourself into that 90-90, feet together and closed and then open and closed. Now you'll find for all of us, we're going to be able to open one side more than the other. Again, something for you to think about how far you can open and close one side compared to the other that's it open and close two more so we squeeze open lower it down one more time then we're going to feather the knee around so you're going to lift the leg away and then just circle it around yeah so we'll kind of keep it in that 90 degree bent position just circle around go so around we go so again hip rotation we've done it standing when we were at the door we could have done it on all fours but it just makes a change to be on this on our side and do this so now a donkey kick we're going to push back and in yeah so there's a little push back to stretch open the front of the hip but not arch in the back so this is stable, right? This is no movement here at all. It's just the flexibility through your hip flexor there. Okay, and again, one. And you may find that this side better than the other side. That's it. Back we go. One, last one, and two. Okay, excellent. Take that down. Bring yourself up and round onto all fours, okay, onto all fours. And I want you to come into a little extension and then up into your flexion. And away, into your uh, extension. So I'm going to come and face you around the front here. I'm just going to do something in a minute. And then into your flexion. Okay. And through. And one more okay now we're going to bring through i'm going to use my yoga block for this knee actually so i've got my mat with me 
So I'm going to bring through the right leg and bring it forward. Okay, so I'm now back. I'm going to show you to the side how it looks. Yeah, so I'm here. Yeah, so the back knee is down on the mat or on the yoga block. Then I come back to the front to show you here. So I'm leaning into it. I'm going to place my left hand down and my right arm into rotation. There we go. Go and keep it up there. All right, now bring this arm down to the inside, okay, and then push your shoulder against the inside of your thigh. Now, again, you only need probably about 5%, but you really feel it open. Okay, bring your hands in a little bit closer to you, and then bring that leg around, bring the other, your left leg now forward, and then lean into it. So it really, it depends on how far you're able to come in one side, but the stretch is here. Yeah, stretches in hip flexor, place your right hand down and then your left arm up to the 12 o'clock position. All right, lovely. Bring the arm down, place the shoulder and just squeeze it to the inside of the knee. So you're, again, just a little open there. It's such a deep stretch. and then walk the hands back in and then bring that leg around okay so i'm back now onto all fours okay i'm back onto all fours so from that position i'm going to bring my right leg around okay so my right leg is just on the outside of my right hand i'm going to tuck my toes under the other side and i'm going to bring it round okay so i've brought myself into a nice low squat right. then i'm going to take my hands onto the floor and squeeze my knees open and then I'm just going to move my weight slightly to the right side and slightly to the left side. Oh goodness me, one more and over. Okay, you're going to release away and straighten out through those legs. Inhale, exhale and roll up to the top, taking your shoulders back and down, just moving my screen moment. So my legs are still wide, I've cut from here, I've rolled up and I've taken my shoulders back and down. I'm gonna bring my hands together and I'm going to rotate. Now I'm gonna do a deep squat. So as you come into a deep squat, I want you now to think, wow, am I able to come down any lower? Yeah, because we've done that, all that hip, hip health work. Down and lift. I know I certainly can come down that bit lower. Down we go, lift and then open. All right, bring your, keep your hands where they are. Bring your feet again to hip distance. Push the hands away, lift to the top, open and lower. And again, one, take it away, two, lift, open and lower. Take the right leg behind, and then the right arm over the top. Going back to that hip stretch. And then open, down, across, open and through. I don't know what's happened to my music today, but I'm gonna be sorting it out in a moment. It's like it's all un undownloaded itself. Okay, and then bring your hands, interlace your fingers, and through. I hope you didn't mind with no music, ladies, but it just takes takes up the class time by sorting out the music. So I wanted to concentrate on the class rather than the music. I shall sort it out for the next one. Hands in the lower part of the back, open through the chest, squeeze back the scalps, lift the chin away. Lovely, take the legs up nice and wide, bend the knees, take a lovely deep breath in and out. And again, down we go, deep breath in and out. Ladies, circle around your right arm, circle around your left arm, bring your arms open through, sweep, um, sweep it forward, 
open it back and again then rainbow over the top with your right arm over to your left and your left arm over to your right and again so lift over and through okay bring your feet tip back, again back to hip distance i'm going to show you in a diagonal i'm going to place my right leg forward let me bring the camera down slightly i'm going to bring my right leg forward toe up to the ceiling i'm going to lean into it yeah just like we were leaning in remember we were doing our rows yeah so lean in sit back heel is down toe is to ceiling and sit back into it 